So I was praying this morning and just felt like the Lord was sharing what the difference between a consumer and a creator is. By the way, you are made in the image of your father and your father is the creator. And being made like him, you're gonna be most alive and you're gonna feel like depression has no hold on you when you learn to create. It's a lifestyle of creating. Like your father, he put it in you to love to go and create things. And so what does that look like? Let's just talk about um, a consumer mentality. So a consumer mentality says, you know, I'm here, I've arrived at a place so that they can do something for me. And Hebrews 10 says, don't forsake gathering so that you can encourage someone else. And so that creator inside of you is longing to show up and to bring encouragement to someone else. And so you're gonna feel the most alive when you take the responsibility to find some people that maybe you're just a few steps ahead of them and you wanna encourage them. And you don't even have to know everything. You just have to know what Christ did for you and that creative. So bringing your song to the Lord, bringing bringing your, even to work, you're bringing uh, your gift, not so that you can have a transaction between you and your boss, but you know that everything, 100% of your income comes from God. It doesn't come from your boss. And so you bring that creativity to work and you do it as unto the Lord. You bring your creativity to church and you have something to give. And it's the same thing everywhere we go is we don't take the consumer mentality. Of course we do when we're babies, we all consume, but just think about Thanksgiving and Christmas. What are the people that do that are, that are not consumers? Well, they're creating, they're creating an opportunity and, and for people to come and eat, they're creating an opportunity for people to come and receive Christmas gifts. I mean, there's just so much that's as we mature in the Lord, we become more and more like our creator. So I want to encourage you if you're not feeling uh, yourself these holidays, I want you to look around and go, what has the Lord put in my hands? What gift has he given me to create like him?